What's up, guys? This is your man, the one, the only, Lorente from the Gusty Riseboro channel. Welcome back, guys, to another video and episode from GTRA. And it's been it's been a while, guys, since I've done a video. I've been focusing on other projects and other things that I've been needing to get done because I'm getting ready to move out of my apartment with my girlfriend to get my own place, unfortunately. So just trying to get everything um, taken care of before I move it out. Before I, before I move out. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into talking about a Spider Man. So if you're not familiar with a Spider Man, Spider Man is, is what's put off in diet pop. And usually, you know, well, it's commonly known by a lot of people that people believe that, you know, Spider Man diet pop is bad for you, you know, because it causes it can cause diabetes, headache problems, uh, fat gainage, and other, you know, unfortunate side effects from drinking it. But I can tell you guys from drinking Diet Pop for, for almost 10 years now that it doesn't cause those problems. You know, it's all, it's all BS. You know, it's just people listening to what other people have told them and then people buy into it and believe in it. Without doing their own research and also drinking diet pop to kind of, you know, have their own experience of how it makes them feel or if they lose any weight or if they get these symptoms that they supposedly hear about. And the people that do drink diet pop that are unfortunately overweight because of the weight because of their own actions don't change their own eating habits. So they can't continue to gain weight while, while also believing and linking diet pop to being the culprit. Instead of, the reality is that they're not changing their eating habits, exercising, and making these little things to help with the weight loss and tracking their calories. So, there's a lot of factors that come in to, to weight loss, fat loss, and Sparmate is not causing those problems. You know, and, and there's plenty of studies saying that Sparmate is perfectly safe for you to drink, you know, and... Another story I can give you guys from my own personal experience when I was dieting for a bodybuilding competition almost 10 years ago, I was drinking a shitload of, of diet pop to help, you know, stop my, my sweet tooth from getting in the way of me gaining the weight, the weight back, the gain weight that I didn't need to be at 4% body fat. And that kind of held back the, the beast of, one, of, one, of me wanting to devour cakes and ice cream and I had no problem dropping dropping down the four percent body fat with the help of drinking diet pop. So again, you know, all the things you hear about diet pop being bad for you and causing all these side effects, it's it's not true guys, alright? Until until there's more research studies saying that that it does and or I'm feeling horrible and and weak and I have diabetes all of a sudden then I'll let you know that hey, what they say about sparring me, diet pop, is bad for you. All right, and honestly, guys, if you want to drink diet pop, I recommend you getting caffeine-free diet pop like I have right here of Pepsi. And it doesn't hurt here and then to drink a little caffeine to get caffeine in your system, make you more focused, more alert. But you know you don't want to become dependent on that caffeine because the more you drink uh, caffeinated diet pop. The more your tolerance, your tolerance increases, increases to where you need more caffeine to get that same high. So, again, make sure to alternate or just stick with caffeine-free diet soda, and you'll be fine. Especially if you combine it with effective eating habits and an effective workout routine or training routine to help you reach your fitness goals. But guys, that's it. Hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, you know what to do. And till next time. Hmm. <laughs>